now we are going to study an other very important property known as the maximum density line it is drawn with the help of 0.45 power chart actually this was introduced by the asphalt industry and why it was introduced in order to show the ideal combined aggregate gradation over here what we do in this one or how we are going to get this one here we say that uh, the aggregate gradations are plotted on cumulative passing passing to the sieve size raised to power 0.45 here let us suppose that sieve size is varying i am representing it by di di 0.45 so here this sieve size to whom i have represented by di 0.45 it is taken along x axis and other one cumulative percent passing represented by capital p it is taken along y axis now how we are going to find out the value of p very interesting question this p can be found out by the following relation p is equal to b i divided by capital d whole raised to the power 0.45 now i will tell you this p is a cumulative passing passing this b i b i actually the sieve sizes what is the capital d maximum size of the aggregate try to understand again what is small d it is actually the sieve opening sizes varying from top to the bottom and what is the capital d it is the maximum size of the aggregate So, so as uh, I will just make it stable for your uh, clear understanding about this concept. You know, all our discussion right from the beginning is for the asphalt wheeling course, which we have to design for uh, by using the super pay method. Over here, D I mean the different sizes of the sieves. 19 to 10.5 9.5 4.75 2.36 1.18 0.6 0.3 0.15 0.075 so these are the sieve di sieve size opening when i am going to take its power di Point forty five. Then after that, I have to calculate also P by using this formula B by capital D four raised to the point forty five. Let me give you one example. Nineteen divided by nineteen over point forty five into hundred. it comes out to be 100 it is for the first sieve it means all cumulative percent passing is 100 then next one 12.5 divided by 19 whole raised to power 0.45 into 100 if i will make its calculation its answer comes out to be 83 its answer comes out to be 83 similarly this 19 If I take its power 0.45, its answer comes out to be 3.8. Similarly, the square 0.5. If I take its value 0.45, then its value comes out to be 3.1. So, in this way, 
But now I will not make all. Now I have told you the procedure how we have to calculate by two value shown over here two value. Now I will fill this column over here. Three point eight three point eight three point one, and then next is the uh, one. After this one, zero point eight. 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and 0 0.3. This is the DI power calculator by this way. Now, like over here is the 83, as I have shown you over here. Next is the 73. After this 73, I have this uh, next 54. Same by calculation. After this 54, I have this 39. After this 39, I am going to get it the next value and this next value is the 29 in this way we will go on calculating this value 21 after this 21 we have the 15 and then 8 but zero, zero, zero. now these are the value this value is taken along x axis along x-axis and this value is taken along y-axis now let me rub this as I am now clear this one let me rub all this one by using this value which I have just derived over here when I plot the graph between two values what are those two values? di raised to power 0.45 and here it is the p 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 or 100 similarly over the same side i am not going to write out it in the basis of time when i draw this line it is a straight line. This line starting from origin and going up to the maximum size of the aggregate MAS. Maximum aggregate size here it is equal to 19 mm. This line is known as the maximum density line. So this line which we have drawn over here by the data this is known as the maximum density line. Over here, I would like to tell you some demerits of this equation, of this maximum density line. First one, densely packed, high density. Second one, least airways. More amount of aggregate packed. Fourth one, more area of cross, more area. You know, when the aggregates are more and smaller, then we can say that the area is always more because the area of effective area is being calculated by each and every particle. So, so that's why we can say that more area or more surface area. When we have the more surface area, so keep this in mind, we need more amount of the binder. When we are dealing with such type of the gradation, where I am saying the more amount of the binder, it means when I have to develop the hot mixes part by using such type of the gradation, more effect, more surface area than more binder amount is required. But keep one thing, here I am going to tell very big drawback. Rutting will happen during service life. Rutting will occur. Very big fault. Next, 
least air voids. If you have to increase the air voids, what will you do? You will have to avoid this line. You will have to move above of this line. Like this one. Because if we are trying curve like this one, this is my combined aggregate curve. If it is combined curve, if it is like this one, it is going to possess the air void. Because this is the maximum mass effect. Here we have the least point of the void. So we, whenever we are going to be designed, we should always try to have the curve like this, not over this one. Because this is not ideal. This is going to destroy your uh, asphalt which I have shown you over here. So it was just for your introduction. So I think you may have understood it very well. I have not too much time to make that calculation. You are engineers. You can do it yourself in very fine way because that I have already given you over here. And you can draw this graph by using x-axis value and by using y-axis. It will be exactly straight line. Either you draw in your computer or you draw by hand. It will be the straight line. Thank you for seeing this.